Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your spirit messages reading for October. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. This is a new series I've added to the channel. These are messages from your spirit guides, what you need to know in the month of October from spirit. Now it could be from your spirit guides communicating to mine, to me, or uh, directly from your spirit guides if you are connected to them, whether or not you believe in that or not. Or these, if not, then just messages maybe you need to hear um, through October. And they could be separate messages. It could be one big message. So we'll see what we get here. So if you do like this, please do comment down below. Um, subscribe, like, share, all that great stuff. Be greatly appreciated. We'll see how this series goes. So if it does well, I'll continue. If not, I may not. So um, I hope you like this. So if you're new or returning, if you haven't already, please do go check the description box below. Tons of stuff there that you need to know um, about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff there. Please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. Thank you everyone for your support. For all the new subscribers, thank you so much. Uh, those who reached out for personal readings, tipped or donated to the channel as an exchange of energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All your support really does mean a lot to me. And thank you so much for liking me, my style, not so much me, but my style, my energy, um, and the messages I may give. So all the support really does mean a lot in helping the channel grow and flourish and being a part of that and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It's truly appreciated. So Sagittarius, I think that's it. I think we're just gonna get started here. So we have three Oracle decks and tarot. I will pick three oracles from each oracle deck and then we'll clarify with tarot. And those will be your messages. I've also added another new uh, series to the channel. If you're single and wondering, when am I gonna meet the one? When, you know, who's coming towards me? When am I gonna meet somebody? If you're not connected to anybody at all and you're just single and you're wondering who's coming towards me, who's my, gonna be my new love or whatever here, there's a new singles reading I'm putting out on the channel for singles only who don't have anybody in their life and they're just wondering who's coming towards them. So it's kind of a fun reading. So look out for that also. Okay, so Sagittarius, let's get started. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy Halloween. All right, October. What does spirits want to tell Sagittarius? What are the messages that you need to hear for October? see what we get here all right we get three so can we have three for Sagittarius what do they need to know what do you need to tell them one what are the spirit messages for October for Sagittarius two and one more usually I take flyers or sometimes it just like sticks in my hand that's my uh, signal that's for you or, or if it flies or protrudes out of the deck in like a weird way, then uh, check card. All right, so let's get three of each and then I'll reveal what they are. All right, Sagittarius spirit messages for Sagittarius spirit. What does Sagittarius need to know for the month of October? What do you want to tell them? The Sagittarius collective watching this right now. What are the messages most needed? The Sagittarius, please. Thank you so much. And we have three cards. We got one, two, and three. All right. Let's get three of these. Sorry about the shuffling, but it's tarot, so you can speed up the reading. You can skip ahead. All right. Messages for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know at this time? What are the spirit messages for Sagittarius? What is the guidance? What do they need to know? What are the messages? Um, we have two more. One more for Sagittarius. All right. So, let's see what we have. This is the Work Your Light Oracle. 
we have trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? So this is the feeling you get in your gut, your intuition, something deep within that either tells you something's not right, maybe I need to go in another direction, or just trusting that feeling within when you get a feeling about something, whether it's good, it's bad, whatever it is here, it's telling you to trust that niggle from within you. And then we have Akasha, your guidance is divinely guided. So just know that the universe has your back. The universe knows the destined plan for you. Sometimes it may not feel that way, but Akasha is sort of like the universe's record of every person on the planet. It's sort of like the universe, universal record keeper here, Akasha. So your guidance is divinely guided. So divine has your back. They know your purpose. They know where you're going. And you may not feel that at times. You may feel like you're in a mess. You may feel like things aren't going your way, but just notice that it's all divine guidance and whatever you're going through is meant to happen. Good, bad, whatever here, it's all meant to be for your life's journey moving forward. Learn, you know, learning the lessons in life. Then we have here Pleiades. I don't even know how to say that. Double mission channeling and uplifting humanity. So I may read a little bit about that in the book since I'm not an expert on like star seeds and all that sort of energy. So Pleiades, I think is how you say it. So it's basically, you know, people who can channel energy, channel, you know, being very psychic. I, I don't really like that word, but if you want to call it that, like people that are very, very in tune and in touch with um, the universe, the divine energy, you know, their spirit guides, like the commu they can communicate open and freely with their angels, their spirit guides, their passed over loved ones. Uh, double mission channeling, I mean, like being a medium or just being really connected to energy and then using that to uplift humanity. Sort of like, um, you know, tarot readers can channel messages and then they do the readings to uplift whoever's watching. So that's like an example. But, um, okay, let me just read. So I just opened it to Akasha here, so I wasn't gonna read that one, but um, I'm just gonna read a little bit here. Akasha exists in the fifth dimension in the library of souls, that's a good way to explain it. All soul contracts, history, gifts, lessons, and more exist there, exist here. We each have access to this information of the past, present, and future and can tap into it at any time. Um, it, yeah, it's just the universe, or universe already knows the divine plan for every living being. They already know the path, the journey, every living being is going to go on. Of course you have free will and you can change um, your destiny and fate at any time. So they may predestine a route for you, but you also have free will and you can change it. Like they may lead you in the path to being, uh, I don't know, recording artist, but maybe you, you know, you, you want to be that, but then you decide, no, I think I won't. And then you don't. So then you change your fate and you change your destiny. So everybody has free will. Um, let's see. I don't know if these are in alphabetical order. Let's see. So I just got to find Pleiades. I just want to read. That is about... Sorry. If I can find it. Moral. Here it is. It's at the end. The Palladians are a group of star beings dedicated to raising the vibration of the planet and sharing new consciousness through creations and technology. They've been incarnating on Earth since near the beginning of humanity. You are a soul who has double mission to grow at soul level and to raise the vibration of the planet. You have been called to write, speak, or channel. This is your sign to keep doing it. Your work is divinely guided, and you have that right here. Wow. <laughs> of all the souls, Palladians are the chattiest, and so perhaps you have already started channeling some of this work into third dimension. Thank you for doing your part in the great plan. Your presence is unique. Is it? Your presence in unique light is needed. So that may be a message for some of you. Um, 
you know, to trust the niggle. I mean, I take this as a kind of a separate message, just to uh, always listen to your, trust the niggle, listen to your gut, your intuition, your inner knowing, your higher knowing. If something doesn't feel right, don't do it. If something feels right, do it. If you're not sure, then really think about it. It's just trusting your body because the body knows best and your intuition knows best. So trust that. You are being divinely guided. Just trust in the process. And some of you are do have special gifts here of channeling, uplifting humanity, and that si so, uh, kind of sort of energy also. So if you are not clear about that or you're not sure or maybe you think you do, maybe you may want to research more on that and get in touch and in tune with that part of you that you may not even know you have these abilities for some of you. All right, so let's see what we have here. This is uh, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. We have the Ice Queen, Ideas Preserved, Non-Action Entitlement. 2810 is about ending, and then there's always a new beginning. So some of you, Ideas Preserved, and Non-Action Entitlement. So you guys may, some of you may have, um, have had big ideas, but not really taking action on them for some reason. Like you put them on the back burner and they're just kind of frozen in time and not really taking action on them. And then you have entitlement here. So I don't know, some of you may feel like you're entitled to something. I don't know, I'll read a little bit about that too. Then we have the dragon's duel, inner conflict, morality, conscious choice, 23, which is five, which is about uh, change. So some of you, you know, maybe, you know, really conflicted right now about making certain choices in your life. All right. And then we have the wise woman of Wonderland, integrity and compromise. 21, which is three. Three to me is a very social number. Um, teamwork, collaboration, that sort of like putting that work in to manifest something in your life. So some of you just may need to uh, have integrity and compromise with certain people in your path for the month of October to be wise about what you're doing, decision you're making, uh, how you're moving forward. So let's see, uh, the Ice Queen, number 28. The Ice Queen has come to block your movement for your highest good. Let your ideas be preserved until later. So some of you, um, whatever ideas or something here you want to move forward, it's block, It's being blocked right now, but I think it may be for some of you for your um, highest good. You can thaw them out and use them at another time when they will best serve. The realm of the Ice Queen is the place of non-action, and now is the perfect time to take a look at how far you've come and to ask yourself for a reclarification of your highest goals. Not all your plans can be accomplished at this moment. In fact, putting them on ice allows for the perfect timing later on. Don't be too hasty in trying to reach your goal. An even better one will present itself if you surrender and spend the winter with the Ice Queen. It's funny because, well, we're going into fall, but winter's not too far away. Perhaps, too, you're trying to do too many things at once, and this is a good occasion to choose only one thing to focus on. Let the Ice Queen put the others in the deep freeze until a more appropriate time. She'll let you know when it's the right time to let them thaw. So some of you is telling you that, you know, again, maybe some of you are doing too much. You need to concentrate on one thing, put some other things on the back burner, put them on hold, if they're not, not that important, and there may be a better time and place um, in the future for that to occur. Um, or some of you, I feel too, also have been kind of procrastinating and not really um, taking action or moving forward in any ideas that you have or things you want to create, endeavors you want to follow, or anything like that. I really just feel like some of you have been putting things on the back burner and just not pursuing them, not... Um, going forward in that direction, probably when you need to. Um, let's see, so now we have the Dragon's Duel, which is 23. So we have 21, 23, 28, so we have all cards. Uh, but I noticed they came out 28, 23, 21, going backwards. So usually if they were to came out the opposite of way, 
21, 23, 28. That's like progress to me. So some of you may be falling backwards when you should be moving forward for some reason. And again, I think that has to do with not pursuing things that you want to and just kind of like procrastinating for some reason. All right, so let's see. 23. These messages may not be for everybody. So if certain messages you feel like are for you, they resonate with you, then you only take those that do resonate for you and the ones that don't just leave them behind so the dragon's duel here says takes place at the proverbial fork in the road it's both ally and challenger at once as it represents the tension of opposites even though the truth is that we live in unity we experience the duality of faith and doubt love and fear right and wrong black and white this aspect of your current experience asks you to accept that although you may be going one way another may call to you to change direction now is the time to inquire whether it's your ego or your soul leading you there are always choices in life decision making also solves inner conflict you're t if you're torn between two dragons the one that you choose to feed will be the one that wins which is it if it's not the one that serves your serves the highest of your intentions deliberately feed the other and the duel will be worn will be one in your favor. So I feel like some of you need to make choices, have inner conflict about making choices, about moving forward in a direction or idea that you have. And it's keeping you still in like this ice frozen um, stature kind of. But over here we have the wise woman of wonderland integrity compromise so let's just see what that has to say i don't really usually read from the book but this deck um, has a lot of meaning to the cards so uh, the wise woman of wonderland brings integrity to thought word and deed she lets you know that as long as you're in the flow of honesty and being true to your word she keeps you under her protection and care when she appears as your ally she signals a time when Honesty pays off, yielding greater dividends than you expect. You'll be thankful that you remained faithful and loyal to your path. She reminds you that compromise isn't always an option. Stay true to yourself first and foremost. Although it may appear that you could lose something as a result, you can never lose what is truly yours. So I'm, I'm getting like divine energy here, like the universe. Um, Use a universal kind of energy here for you. Or you could have somebody around you who's very wise, um, gives wise advice or something like that, um, that you listen to or you go to for advice. And I also feel like it's like the universe, the divine energy, you know, doing the best for you also. And you need to listen to the niggle from within to make the decisions to move forward because you're divinely guided here. And some of you, again, you may have gifts here with uh, Pleiades. I mean, you may have gifts that you haven't turned uh, tapped into yet that you may need to uh, focus on, whether it's just really listening to your gut and your intuition or something like that. Um, you really need to pay attention to that. All right, so let's see what these have to say. We have two of Raphael, two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful, kindred spirits. Don't give up on those you love. So this is unity. This is peace, harmony, people coming together. It can be love. It can just be two people that think alike. Uh, it can be best friend. It can be family. It can be a lover here. Uh, a, just a spiritual connection and relationship also. Um, so yeah, this is about, you know, the ones you love. You know, family, friends, lover. Those even that have passed over and having still a connection with those in the afterlife. Okay, so then we have nine of Michael. Your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thoughts on the outcome you desire. Release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels. And that's funny because the two of Raphael here, I feel, can also, because it looks like a very spiritual card. So here, giving up those fears and worries to... You know, your angels, your spirit guides, your passed over loved ones, ancestors, whatever here. You know, this is telling you not to have fear, so much fear, stress, anxiety, worry. It's unnecessary. Just trust in the process. Trust in yourself to make the decisions you need to do moving forward here. 
uh, the universe is doing, you know, has your back. They know um, the wisest path for you. And, you know, maybe you do need to listen to people around you that are giving good advice. If you're not listening to it and you feel like you, you should be, then maybe you should. Um, that kind of energy. So let's see what the last one is here. Page of Michael. Truthful, perceptive, analytical, blunt. An exciting new challenge that you have. What it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So this may be a time for you. Um, there's any paperwork, documents, contracts, anything in the legal system or whatever here. I mean, it could be anything as far as resumes, applications, anything here that has to do with paperwork of some kind is to really pay attention to that and read the fine print. But it says you do have what it takes to succeed. So it's just, again, trusting the process here and an exciting new challenge. So some of you may have an exciting new challenge coming up for you. It could be anything. It could be, um, oh, could be anything. It could be anything really. So we're going to clarify, uh, some cards here. You Sagittarius, spirit messages for Sagittarius. Let's clarify some of these cards for you. So, oh wow, 21 minutes already. Wow. I said I want to do this under 20 minutes, but, and I've been noticing that with you as Sagittarius. A lot of your readings have been getting longer, so I guess it's just messages you need to hear. So let's clarify. Trust the Indigo for Sagittarius. Spirit, please. Can we clarify? Trust the niggle, the Sagittarius with one card. So we have the Empress energy here. Emperor, Empress, male, female, doesn't matter. It's energy. So this is someone who is very, uh, she stands her ground. She's very um, thorough. She knows her value, her worth. Um, she's trusting, caring, giving, nurturing. It's the birth of new things. Um she embodies like all the energy of all the kings or queens in the deck. So, you know, this is like just being in your energy and knowing your value and your worth and just loving yourself and trusting, just trusting yourself, trusting your gut, your intuition, the path you're, you're going on and just standing strong in that emperor or empress energy. All right, so let's clarify the ice queen I do feel like some of you are just kind of like not taking action so yeah so we have the ace of pentacles here this is a brand new beginning can be monetary material uh something that's stable and grounded that can be long term it could be a new job opportunity career opportunity it could be money coming in it could be you know buying a big new uh, purchase but this is a stable sturdy grounded divinely guided as we have a lot of divine energy here, new beginning for you that will in the long term, the long haul be stable, sturdy and grounded. And it's about abundance and growth. So I think some of you may be, you know, with the, especially, you know, the pentacles are very slow moving and with the ice queen there, um, pentacles is fall. We're in fall right now. And then you can have winter here. So I really do think there's this new beginning some of you really want to venture into, but you're just kind of procrastinating and you're not like really making it happen or moving forward, just kind of staying stuck as with the ice queen, just kind of frozen in time. But you have this new beginning that's divinely guided for you, waiting for you, something very stable, something, you know, prosperity, growth, abundance, stability, long-term stability. All right, so let's see the two of Raphael, two of cup energy here. What is that about for Sagittarius? So you have the nine of wands energy here. That's your energy, fire energy. So this is the wounded warrior. You know, it's been a long, hard, tough battle, but he keeps fighting, moving on. You know, a lot of perseverance, uh, integrity, endurance, will. So, you, you know, you may have support around you here. Um, again, like I said, it could be people in the afterlife, energy from the afterlife could be um, just like-minded people around you here that are really supporting you and helping you um, 
in your journey here. You know, you're fighting, you're keep moving, you're going on. You've got that passion, drive, ambition to keep fighting, fighting, and moving. And I think you've got people here that are really uh, supporting you, around you, whether it, like it's family, friends, lover, anybody here, uh, people in the afterworld. All right, so let's see Akasha. Oh, that's too many. I just want one. It's divine energy. Your path is divinely guided. Can we get one card for that, please? Oh, got some cards in reverse here. All right. So we have one card. One card for Akasha, please. Thank you so much. So we have the Eight of Wands, which is our energy again. So this is uh, movement forward, communication, travel, very passionate, um, fiery kind of energy. You know, fast-paced energy here. So I think divine energy is really trying to move you forward, trying to show you the way, send you the messages, uh, guide you in the right direction here. You know, to light that fire within you to fo follow uh, your path. All right. So the dragon's duel. So this is um, having conflict about making decisions, um, choices. All right. So what's that about? The hermit. Yeah. Going deep within here, reflecting, thinking, contemplating, doing that inner soul journey work here, trying to make decisions here, trying to make some sort of decision, whatever it is for some of you can be about a career. It can be about a marriage. It can be about a new person. Just, you know, something here that you really need to make decisions about. I think you're really doing uh, the inner journey work here, soul searching, trying to find your way, your light, trying to make decisions for yourself, moving forward, trying to make change. All right, so nine of Michael, what is that about? That is about stress, anxiety, worry. So we have the Six of Swords. So this is about leaving all that energy behind and moving forward in a more, more positive direction. Leaving all crap behind that you don't need and moving forward to peace, harmony, and healing energy. Six is a very balancing healing energy to me. So you, know, you don't have to, I feel, stress or worry because I think you're going in the right direction. Once you make that choice to grab that new beginning, to keep fighting on, to stand in your energy, your power, listen to divine energy, source, whatever, leading you and guiding you and moving in that di direction, you'll be going into a much better place. All right, so Pleiades, Pleiades, what is that for Sagittarius? For Sagittarius. So we have the Six of Wands energy here. So this is about uh, receiving attention, uh, accolades. It's also about success and victory. So some of you, I feel you decide to take a path into like the spiritual world or like being a tarot reader or being a healer or a medium or something in the spiritual realm where, where you're healing, guiding people or some sort of energy like that or just really raising your vibration and doing better for yourself and for your future and for the world or whatever here i think you're going to be very successful here if you you know follow that in a lot of wands are all about passion drive ambition uh and you will be successful all right so wise woman of wonderland what is that about for sagittarius what is that about? Who is this wise woman of Wonderland? Is it the divine energy source, passed over loved ones, somebody around them? Wow, we've got the Nine of Swords again. So, and this person's like they're bound to something. Again, with the stress, worry, anxiety, and fear, being bound to something. Oh, I don't know why we got that for the wise woman of Wonderland. It does say compromise, and maybe you're unwilling to compromise with certain people because you're kind of like bound, or maybe you can't, maybe you want to uh, compromise um, or something, or, or work with others, but something's keeping you bound and stuck and you can't. I don't, why is the Nine of Swords here? I'm just curious why that's here for that. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. This is an energy of being stuck, holding back. Something's keeping you stuck is holding you back 
from taking uh, a wise direction that you want to take in your life, I feel. Or wanting to work with somebody or something, you know, having that compromise, but you can't because I really feel like, with you know, being bound here and stuck for pentacles is like holding back. So something's keeping you bound, stuck, uh, holding back from something that you want to compromise in or move forward in or something like that. I don't know. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Page of Michael. Then it can be about communication also. Um, very open, honest, truthful communication. The magician. So, so this is manifesting your will, your destiny, what you want in your life, uh, using all the tools here to do that. Swords for, you know, open and honesty and truth and clarity. Pentacles for stability. Cups for love, emotion, compassion, peace and harmony. And um, the wands for fiery passion and drive. So, and, you know, the page of Michael to me can also be um, a card of of doing research online. So whether you're researching somebody or something, whatever you, you know, could be doing like learning or something online with the page of Michael. Um, so some of you could be manifesting a new beginning for yourself somehow online. Um, whether you're learning something new or um, studying something or something like that, it's gonna be, will be, uh, enable you here to manifest a whole brand new beginning for yourself. So we're going to see what's on the bottom of the deck, but I do ask that if you like my energy to please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. Four readings a month, they're all different, so don't miss out on that. So on the bottom of the deck, and if you do, thank you, we have the Wheel of Fortune, that's your energy. So this is fate, destiny, as we have Akasha here, you are you're divinely guided. This is fate, destiny, things going in a better direction. So things will be turning in your favor. Your energy again with the Queen of Rods. Fiery, passionate, determined, going after what they want. Being, you know, strong, courageous, and brave. Male or female, doesn't matter. But something has to end here, um, come to an end with um, death. And then it's right next to the Queen of Cups, which is a water sign here. And then we have the Queen of Swords energy, which this Queen of Sword can cut out things no longer serving them, can be queen or king. All this energy can be queen or king. It doesn't matter. Some of you may be cutting out a water sign. That's been coming out in all your readings. And now it's even coming out here, cutting out a water sign, ending that situation to have your brand new divinely guided beginning here, sort of victory, truth, clarity. So, and Knight of Cups here, so uh, moving forward with love, compassion, peace, harmony, either just within yourself or towards somebody else. Wow, uh, Sagittarius. Well, I hope you like this. I hope some of these messages resonated for you. If they did, like I said, please do comment, let me know, and uh, I'll be doing these every month. Hopefully be shorter next time. I wanted to keep it about 20 minutes, and we're up to 33, so sorry about that. You can speed up this reading. So best of luck to you here, Sagittarius, and i um, sending you much light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.